Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Read at Your Own Risk by Remy Lai. This is a upper middle fiction story that was sent to me by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them for the review copy. And I have read Remy Lai's work before, I have reviewed it here on the channel. She wrote Ghost Book, which was a graphic novel for middle fiction readers that I really really enjoyed. And this one is a little bit different, it is not so much a graphic novel as it is more of a diary format kind of book, kind of like Diary of a Wimpy Kid in terms of format of the book but this one definitely has a darker creepier edge to it so when I say that it's probably recommended more for older middle fiction readers I do mean that because there are certainly readers who would fit into that younger middle grade category who might enjoy it because they do enjoy spooky creepy disturbing things but there would also be kids in that category who this wouldn't work for because it would probably be just a little bit too much on the disturbing side. So do keep that in mind. This is one that does come with some content warnings. I am going to read you the back of the book just to give you some context. So it says, Once upon a time I skipped assembly, snuck into the attic, awakened an evil, and now I'm haunted. When Hannah and her friends play the game Spirit of the Coin, they don't really expect to unleash something evil. But now Hannah is experiencing unfortunate accidents and her journal is talking to her. Is there any way to escape the curse? Poor Hannah and her friends go up to the library, they play a game that they've heard about, and suddenly Hannah is being followed around by an evil who is talking to her in her journal, and really weird and disturbing things are happening to her, like teeth falling out and all of that sort of thing. Like, this is perfect for all of those kids who love goosebumps and anything that is a little bit horror based. As we read the story, so it, it's told through Hannah's diary entry, so we are entirely biased by Hannah and she is trying to explain exactly what happened in the attic, recounting those things as in the in the current time strange and unusual things are happening to her that can't be explained. There is a lot of physical injury in this book so just be aware of that. And what we learn is maybe Hannah isn't the most reliable of narrators either because she's telling the story from her perspective and maybe she's not, not the most reliable. There's also a little bit of a history in terms of you know maybe this has happened before and maybe before they went and played that game maybe they should have talked to a few people about what happened because there is a history of people who have gone missing from the school library's attic. Honestly I wasn't quite sure what I was expecting by it. It was definitely a really interesting read. I think had I been a little bit more prepared I may not have been as disturbed by it. It's certainly not for the faint of heart but I do think that we need books like this because this is such an area of interest for people and I think it does some really interesting things. It's really well written. I think the fact that we have a narrator who is maybe not as reliable and that the way that the author is using the journal to tell the story but also has a second character who is using her journal to talk back to Hannah is a really fascinating style and technique so there's some really cool things happening in the book along with it being a story for those kids who don't just want a fantasy story, who don't just want a contemporary story, they want something that's got a bit of grit to it that's a little bit creepy. For me this would be like a perfect October Halloween read so yeah I had a had a really interesting time reading it and I'm I'm really enjoying seeing how diverse Remy Lai's writing style is or creation process is because going from ghost book to this to some of her other work that is for younger readers as well is really interesting to see the scope that uh, Remy is capable of which is great. So I will leave links to where you can find out more information about this book and the author down below. Thank you again to the publisher for sending me the review copy. I had a really interesting time reading it and that's always a good thing when something challenges me. I would love to know if you have read Remy Lai's other work before or if you have a recommendation for older middle fiction readers that are a little bit creepy feel free to let me know down below or if you just want to let me know that you're here feel free to leave a skull emoji. I hope that we're on the world just staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.